everybody. Welcome to Giants Talk Episode 3. I'm Coach Manny. We are coming off of our first win of the season uh, on Sunday, 15-7 against the Prague Black Panthers. Um, shout out to Giants Nation for uh, packing the house, almost 1,200 people. Um, great environment, great game. Went to overtime, so we gave you guys some extra football in a sense, um, but we, we got the job done. Yeah, for episode three, Maxi Varetsa, welcome cool. to the show. First time, to first time or last year? Last year. Yeah, second time on the show. So, no, first time with two with the normal of promise last year. Ah, true. Yeah, junior Giants talk. Now men's Giants talk, and now I'm back again. You're like the favorite guest. So, you're our Harris Sportler. Yeah. yeah, one of two. Kind of said it right. So, take us through, I guess, uh, your standard day as a. Uh, our military football full time person here with the Giants, yeah. You know, most of the time, those of me are the first in the office. Okay. And then we get over here. The first thing we do is normally we eat breakfast in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Then we go uh, to the gym most of the time in the morning. Okay. Just try to get it done before you come in. Yeah, yeah. So I can do all your tasks. That's when all the work comes, yeah. Yeah. And then if like, we finish the gym at like 10, 10 30. Then we, when we finish the gym, we go come back to the office. And then most of the time you're already here, or at least Cody and O'Connor. Yeah, right? yeah. Sometimes I'm a little <laughs> late, but it's okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, you have something to do for me. A lot of scouting. Yeah, lately. yeah, yeah. It's game week now, game by game. So you have a lot more on your plate than you did the few weeks in the past. So, mm -hmm. but that's what you're here for. Yeah, to help and learn and <laughs> improve. Yeah. So yeah, we beat Prague. You personally had a sack. Defense played really well. Um, what were your general thoughts about the game and the defense? Of course, we won, but just personally, defensively, how do you think you did and the, the defense did as a whole? You know, uh, I think we performed at a really high level, especially against such a high-powered offense like mm -hmm. Prague ones. And yeah, we had some minor issues here and there, mm -hmm. but none of them really stood in the way to get the win. Seven points, as I said. It's really good. Really yeah. good, yeah. Yeah, I got my sack. Yes, you did. Finally, got first one. Game, first, first one. Game. Yeah. First one is the hardest. Yeah, yeah always. Uh, hopefully, you're more to come. Yeah. Um, now we go into game two against the Rangers. Um, didn't have the best performance, definitely. I would say from their end, I think they would agree with that. But I would expect for them to be much more prepared and better. Um, week two, we know last year we did beat them quite good, but it was quite tight for a while. We know they're you know pretty good team. When they play their best, they they can be. Uh, a tough team to beat. So, what are our thoughts and expectations for um, game number two against the Rangers on Saturday? Yeah, I think they're gonna be well prepared for us. But I think it's just our level of football is just a little advanced of theirs. So, I don't. I think it would be a battle, but I think we should come out on top. That would be the goal. We want to keep on winning and keep on improving our records for the future of the season and the playoffs. But I definitely expect them to be more prepared than they were last week and come out and try to get their first win and a road game is always tough no matter where you go how close or far it is playing on the road is not easy um, so yeah maxi appreciate you being here did a great job as always and Thank you. um yeah giants nation if you guys want to come out to the game it's in uh i'm not going to say it right modeling modeling whatever it is um and try to get there it's not too far away we'd love your support on the road and um yeah, bring some of that noise and that intensity you guys bring um, in the in the crowd and cheer on the Giants. Go Giants. All right, here we are with our special guest number two for episode three, Coach Cody Kent, offense coordinator. Welcome back. First of the year, dude. Thanks, man. How are we feeling, bro? It's good. Starting off 1-0. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. you can't start better than that. Yeah, as I told the fans earlier in the episode, we even gave them an extra quarter of football. We just wanted to keep them around and, you know, make sure they were excited and give them a little more. You know, we did that on purpose. Um, but, yeah, Prague game one, 15-7 victory. Defense was really good. Offense, second half. We scored, I think, on two of three or of our four possessions. So, not bad there. First half faltered a bit, but I think that was just the whole game. Their offense, too, it was just back and forth, quite a... Strange game compared to last year, which was 43-42, the complete opposite game. So, yeah, just general thoughts from maybe the offensive standpoint as the OC and, and how the game went and just uh, maybe, yeah, the basics of just how it unfolded on Sunday. 
Yeah, I think it was a defensive battle for sure. Yeah, I, I think we gave the fans a, a quite a animated uh, <laughs> yeah. ending in that overtime. But I think anytime you have to break in a new quarterback, his first year in Europe, I think that's really unique mm-hmm. for him. Yeah. It's a, you know, he comes from a very run centric offense in college, so opening up the playbook for him and his ability to be able to be a little more balanced offensively, I think is a, is a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Getting him accustomed to a new system, I think, has been probably the biggest challenge so far, but. His running ability really makes up for some things, and yeah. you know he really has a great arm. So getting him to get comfortable with everything, you know, giving him the ability to check at the line of scrimmage is, is very new for him as well. So you know, really letting him get the feel of things is, is going to take a little bit of time. But I think he performed pretty solid overall. But you know, we got to give Prague credit for their defense. I mean, yeah, that, that is good. Yeah. that that's a top defense. Even last year, they were really really tough. Yeah. I mean, just. Incredible inside backer play. Yeah, you know, the safety, coach has to bond yeah, with that yeah, that safety there. was flying around. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be such a low scoring game. I thought we'd do a little bit better offensively, but mm-hmm. you know, anytime you play a, a really tough defense week one, I, I think that could could be a little expected. But you know, we, we made some mental errors, a little bit of physical errors, but but it's not anything we can't fix. No, especially with the team that was ten and zero last year. Yeah. You do know they're not ten and zero for a random reason, even though they lost a few players entering the season. We were missing a few mm-hmm. from off season surgeries to yeah. fluke accidents in practice, having two yeah. guys out before week one. Um, but yeah, that's I think we all know that's the sport we yeah. play and coach, and it's comes with the territory. Yeah. So yeah, one and zero now. Kind of a short week, I guess. Sunday game to a Saturday game. We get a one less day of preparation. Um, it makes it tough. Yeah, it makes it a little tough. But now we have the Rangers, same as last year, week two. Um, at their place, they didn't have the best outing week one against the Raiders. But I know they're going to be drastically different probably week two. Get everything in line. As you said, week one's tough for everybody. Yeah. Um, new quarterback for them. Their young quarterback last year is now their head coach. So a lot of things moving back and forth. Just thoughts, expectations on... The game two, Rangers, standard basic stuff, yeah. Yeah, I think defensively it, it's really interesting to see their change. You know, mm-hmm. that they are given a couple different coverages than they did last year, mm-hmm. which I think is really neat. You know, you don't you don't see a lot of cover too much anymore in today's football, which mm-hmm. I think that's really cool that they're doing that. Uh, you know, getting Nick, we had a big long meeting yesterday, getting him on the same page, I really think he's going to take a step forward. You know, just after the first game jitters in Europe, and then mm-hmm. now going into week two, I really t- expect him to take a step forward. Yeah. You know, battling some injuries still. So just being able to switch some personnel around, mm-hmm. I, I think we'll have a good plan going into Saturday. But, you know, they play hard on defense. They have some good players. Ballers, Number yeah. nine. Ball, yeah, he's really good. Ball, yeah, he's yeah really good. he flies around. So yeah. I think getting us in the right position and preparing our guys this week, you know, I think we have helmets today. So, Correct, yeah. you know, getting some install in, getting the guys on the field, walking through some issues. Mm-hmm. Because the biggest thing was mental issues. You know, we didn't have a ton of physical mistakes on no, Sunday. No, no, you know, yeah. it was mostly mental, and we can we can get we can get that fixed, no problem. Yeah. So, get you know the Rangers defense. You know they're going to play hard. They have some big boys up front. They have, yes, they they have an yeah. import DN. He's got some speed. Yes, he does. He's yeah, fast. So, you know, he, he's kind of like that typical pass rusher, five tech, who's who wants to get after the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we can use that against them in some ways, but. You know, just getting our guys in open space, letting them run around in space and, and have fun and, and getting the ball out, I think is going to be the key. Yeah, no, I think I'm agreeing on all those points. we got to get a W any way we can as we scrapped one out uh, yeah. two days ago. And if we can go 2-0, and we're in great shape moving into the, the Ducks game, which is after that, of course, one game at a time. But for us, we got a long season ahead, so we just got to scrap together as many victories as we can and, and stay healthy. Yeah, um, yeah, last year they were pretty feisty, you know. I think yeah, it was, what, 31-9 maybe, yeah. something like that. They were but close I mean, for a while and we I mean, separated it, at the end. Nothing about that game was easy. Nope. You know, nothing nope. about it. They were feisty. You know, we just made a couple more plays than they did and it, and it led to points. So, yeah, yeah. you know, we had some explosive plays and, you know, their cover four last year tried to mitigate that. This year, you know, it's going to be a little bit different playing their coverages. So I think preparing for that is going to be a little different mm-hmm. because – you just don't see, you know, you don't see a lot of three cloud like they're giving us. You don't see a lot of coverage. No, they're doing so, different things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So getting Nick on the same page, getting our receivers to identify mm-hmm. that where the weaknesses are is going to be challenging. So we'll get the guys ready. Saturday, hopefully, we put on a show. Yeah, man. I hope so too. Yeah, Giants Nation, if you guys can come out to Modeling on Saturday or Modeling, it would be great. We need all the drums and horns we can. And thanks for the support on Sunday against Prague. It was a big reason why we got it done. And yeah, we always appreciate you guys coming and supporting us. So go Giants.